So what if that OnePlus Nord wasn't just affordable, but also brought some good extra perks for the money? Because yes, we have some official rumors of the OnePlus Nord's camera, and they sound pretty compelling. We have a leaked teaser of the Galaxy Buds Live and more leaked renders of the Galaxy Note, because why not? And it looks like Apple is wanting to bring the iPhone SE strategy to iPads. I'm Jaime Rivera, and wasn't it great back in the day when we could actually celebrate Friday because it was all about the party tonight and the party on Saturday, and I don't think we knew how lucky we were. This is Parking Out Daily, sponsored by MediaTek. Stick around to learn why you should pick MediaTek for your next purchase. Let's begin today off with deals because yes, we know you watched our After the Buzz. There is no better time to buy the Galaxy Note 10. Right now it's currently $220 off for the 256 gigabyte of storage variant, leaving it at $730 and it comes with US warranty as well. The Galaxy S10 is still $100 off from the other day, leaving it at $650 for the 128 gigabyte of storage variant. And the latest iPad mini is $50 off, leaving it at $629 for the Wi-Fi plus cellular 256 gigabyte of storage variant. Now we've got more deals on Sony TVs, the DJI Osmo action cam that I actually really like and others in the link in the description. Now it's been quite a while since we discussed that Sprint and T-Mobile merger, mainly because they haven't really made a ton of things official pretty much until yesterday. The company confirmed that as of August 2nd, Sprint and T-Mobile will be unifying their brands under the new T-Mobile name. This deal has been happening for the past few years and it was much expected to launch the summer as they did lay off a couple of hundred people from Sprint and disbanded their 5G network, even if we know that they're gonna use that mid-band. Most of the Sprint retail stores will be rebranded as T-Mobile stores and more announcements are happening next week. The thing about it is, T-Mobile, I thought you said that the company was going to grow stronger together. Stronger together involves the people you laid off from Sprint, because that was not part of what you mentioned that was going to happen. There was a necessity in the... Anyways. Now, we're pretty much just five days away from the official announcement of the ASUS ROG Phone 3. So obviously, the leaks continue to flow and they keep getting more interesting. Now, we've got some official looking press renders of the phone from Evan Blass showing off the entire design, which is kind of familiar. At the back, we see the new triple camera setup and the RGB ROG logo. At the front, we have the notchless design with a thick top and bottom bezels to house the dual firing front speakers as they are supposed to be. Uh, then we're expecting the phone to bring a 6.59 inch AMOLED display running at 120 hertz, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus, a crazy 6,000 milliamp hour battery, 30 watt fast charging, and a ton of other things. Stay tuned, it's gonna get rather interesting next week. Now we've been discussing the possibility of Apple revamping their iPad lineup, particularly with a 10.8 inch variant that's being rumored here and there, Meishi Quo predicting, and uh, we're still waiting, and well, it starts getting even better. Now we have some new information and it looks like it will be the new iPad Air. According to the report, Apple is going for the iPhone SE strategy by bringing a powerful SoC to an affordable device. It might also adopt some pro features like USB-C and the new Magic Keyboard compatibility. This iPad would be priced somewhere around the current Air's price, which starts at 500. And you have to remember the original regular iPad is 330 bucks. If you're looking for an iPad mini, like me, we should be getting those next year, according to Ming-Chi Kuo, and he also mentioned that these iPads will ship with 20 watt chargers. Now, speaking of iPads, there's something very interesting. Let's talk about the Apple Pencil for a second. A new patent titled Computer System with Color Sampling Stylus would use several photo detection systems on the Apple Pencil to allow you to hold a pencil against an object and sample the color for whatever it is you want to use it. Sort of like what you can do when you edit stuff in Premiere or Photoshop. Now, obviously, it's a long shot. We're not exactly sure when we're getting that. It's just the patent. Apple pens a ton of things, but I really would love this to happen. And speaking of events that we are close to, obviously we are expecting the new Galaxy Buds, new Galaxy Watch, and so many other products from Samsung. These are reportedly not necessarily going to happen together. We're not exactly sure, but the thing about it is we keep getting more info. Today we got this new six second teaser of the Galaxy Buds posted on Twitter. On the video, we see one of the buds lift up from the case and the words, keep the noise out, let the sound in appear on the screen, hinting to the active noise cancellation that we might be getting. We also have another picture showing off the inner side of the buds, as well as someone wearing them, and we can't say they look too comfortable. 
We also have a new CAD render video of the Galaxy Note 20 showing off the phone on all angles. And we can tell that this is the regular Note 20 as it brings a flat display and triple cameras at the back with no periscopic lens. There are really no surprises here, but we're just expecting this to be what we get going forward with Unpacked. And friends, before we get to today's question, in addition to the hottest news, here's a word from today's sponsor, MediaTek. Did you know that its technology powers the popular Sony WF-1000X Mark III's? These were the first true wireless earbuds to feature true active noise cancellation. 24-bit audio signal processing also makes these one of my favorites for sound quality. We have a battery life of up to 24 hours with the carrying case and full integration at a tap with the Google Assistant and even Amazon's Alexa Assistant. Follow the first link in the description to find them on Amazon. And then in the second link, you can learn more about why companies like Sony choose MediaTek. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with OnePlus. Two separate ones, actually. Obviously, we're getting closer to that OnePlus Nord event. I finally got the invitation in the mail today here in Honduras. That's great. Just the invitation, guys. Yeah. But anyways, let's start with the OnePlus Buds teaser where they show off how the Buds will bring in called noise cancellation. The teaser reads, even if you're in a noisy environment, your voice will be picked up clearly. No need for shh. And at the end of the teaser, we see the silhouette of the Buds and the color. It looks pretty similar to the ones Carl Pei was wearing in the Waveform podcast. Now, moving on to the actual Nord, the company just revealed the camera specs through their forums. Let's start it off with the selfie camera, which will get a 32 two megapixel main sensor and the wide angle selfie camera with 105 degrees of field of view, which is allegedly an eight megapixel sensor. Now on the back, we have the main camera, which is a Sony IMX586 48 megapixel sensor with OAS, and along with an eight megapixel ultra wide angle, a five megapixel depth sensor, and last but not least, my personal favorite, a macro camera. Ugh, I hate it when Diego writes these things on the script. But anyways, we're pretty much just four days away from this announcement. Let us know what you think about the OnePlus Nord and everything we've seen in the comments lately. I'm really curious to get your opinion. I have to tell you, I'm actually excited. I don't think I've been this excited about a mid-ranger, but I, I think it has a lot to do with all the hype that OnePlus is building around it. I think they're doing a great job, but obviously stay tuned as we will definitely have coverage coming soon. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me not kill flies as I record videos. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.